Good morning, brothers and sisters. Doug White down here in Alabama. Peace and love to everybody. All across the pond over there. Ireland. Scotland. France. Great Britain. Anybody that's listening, tuned in here this morning? Thailand. Mexico, peace and love to everybody. I was thinking this morning about the unconditional covenant that we have in the New Testament. There's no condition placed on a, the child of grace. No condition whatsoever. And, uh, but I was I look back on uh, in Genesis here. I found another unconditional covenant. No condition upon it whatsoever. It's the one where uh, Noah is going out of the ark with his sons. And uh, let me just read just a tad of it here. It says... Uh, And the Lord smelled a sweet savour. This is after Noah uh, made a burnt offering to him. The Lord smelled a sweet savour, and the Lord said in his heart, I will not again curse the ground any more for man's sake. For the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth. Neither will I again sm smite any more everything living as I have done. While the earth remaineth, seed time and harvest, Cold and heat, summer and winter, day and night, shall not cease. Brothers and sisters, we have an unconditional covenant. Uh, let the devil do what he may. Everybody's worried about everything, but <laughs> there's going to be seed time and harvest, brothers and sisters, up to the very last day. And what did he say right here? He says, for the... He didn't say if, uh, that man had, had uh, <laughs> changed after the flood. He just said, he said, for the imagination of the man's heart is evil from his youth. In other words, he'd come to the conclusion in his heart that he was going to make this unconditional covenant with uh, man. And uh, it's, he said he wasn't going to destroy the earth anymore, I guess, you know, by the flood. And then he said... Uh, and he gave us uh, something to, to look up and see, to remind us of that covenant. And him, of course, him, more than anything. And I I do set my bow in the clouds, and it shall be for a token of covenant between me and the earth. And it shall come to pass when I bring a cloud over the earth, that the bow sh shall be seen in the clouds. And I will remember my covenant, which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. And the water shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh. Brothers and sisters, this is an unconditional covenant. First one I can see in the Bible. The first unconditional, of course, if some scholars out there might find something else before we get to chapter nine, 8 and 9. But here we have an unconditional covenant. No condition placed whatsoever on it. And, uh, uh, but that's the first time you see, I mean, here we have compassion right here. And the Lord said in his heart, I will not again curse the ground anymore for man's sake. For the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth. See, brothers and sisters, this is an unconditional covenant. Every time it rains, you can look up in the clouds and you can think about both covenants. You can think, of, think about that first covenant, which was unconditional. And here we have another unconditional covenant with our Lord Jesus Christ. See, there's not any anything placed upon it whatsoever. He, he, did, he decided to love his people. And anyway, I don't know why I brought that up, just... Just was thinking about it. 
<clears throat> every time I see it rain, I think about that cabinet. Everybody's saying the world's going to hell in a handbasket, but you know, it's going to be seed time and harvest up to the very last day, brother and sister. And everything's working according to his eternal plan. And uh, he's ruling and reigning right now from his place on high. Jesus Christ is ruling and reigning, no matter how bad it gets down here below. And uh, he's working all things after the council of his own will. So there we have it. The bow in the clouds. Every time it rains, just about. You can see it. Especially when I go down there to Florida and look out over the ocean, you can see it. Beautiful rainbow goes all the way across the horizon. And uh, I think about the unconditional covenant of Noah. The unconditional covenant of our Lord Jesus Christ uh, that he uh, that he purchased his own people with his own blood the new covenant which is also unconditional no condition whatsoever I don't care how men try to parse it out there's no condition. God has, has has a people that he has chosen from the foundation of the earth that he loves. And uh, if you look through, look back at that old one, he said man's heart from his youth, his imagination from his youth, he just made a decision. I, and that's the first time I begin to see compassion, you know, God showing his heart. You know. He said in his heart, I will not again curse the ground anymore for man's sake. For the imagination of man's heart is, is evil from his youth. See? So uh, God has decided he has a, a great plan and there's nothing we can really do about it except, well, uh, say, you know, so it seemed well with thee, Lord. But anyway, I don't know why I brought that this morning, but I hope it helps somebody out there that might be listening in. Uh, well, I couldn't think of anything else to say, so I thought I'd show you some of my daughter's art when she was in grade school. Thought I'd show you some of that. She's really some artist. I hadn't got it all here, but I'll show you this right here. She did these. I got a whole big thing at the house of her artwork. That's kind of a facsimile of what it, uh, some men think it that our earth looks like from looking down on it. But anyway, peace and love to everybody down here in Alabama. <clears throat> If I, uh, you know, I go a few days without getting back on here, I, uh, what I'd advise everybody to do is, <laughs> if you know how to, uh, go back and look over my old videos, and uh, because uh, I just about said everything I know, you know, <laughs> played up every song that driving you. Sang up every song that driving you, but uh, look, go back and look up over those old videos of mine, and and uh, 
But see if you can find some uh, truth in them, if you wish, if you desire. Uh, uh, because uh, I covered a lot of different subjects. On this thing about uh, uh, these, uh, I've uh, about decided on the flat earth thing here that it's completely been, uh, the best thing to do is just communicate between you, your, uh, your loved ones and the people that you, uh, you know, got to share it as God shows you how to share it, you know, because all the, uh, I believe that, uh, this thing has been, uh, what's the word here? Co-opted. It's been, uh, it's been, uh, the enemy has, uh, is out there on the front line acting like they're, uh, you know, you can't beat them, join them type thing. You know, they they saw that it's coming out, and so they're trying to direct, you know, to slow down the the growth of it. But really, like, like you say, it's uh, the first, we're probably in the first category, the first stage of uh, this revelation. And it's ridicule. So, but uh, but it, it makes so much sense that people are coming. Uh, people are starting to find out about it, and so they're getting on. They have. I don't believe in these conferences anymore because uh, I believe that that's a, good, a way that the, that they can control the narrative, and point you in the way they want it to go. You know. So. Uh, the best thing to do is word of mouth and on the internet as long as you can on the internet and uh, uh, just pass it around, you know, and uh, pass the truth about I've been around. People are starting to wake up to the truth in it because it's all through the Bible and uh, it makes common sense too once you get into the all the minutia of it. It really makes common sense that uh, we've been lied to from our from our youth, and I believe that it's God that is bringing is bringing it to light. So it's really a futile thing that the, that the enemy is is put up here with all these. Uh, uh, I guess you just call them uh, shields. Is that what they call? Them? And that they get on there and they uh, they tell you lots and lots and lots of truth. You know. But then they steer you over here, you know, when it comes to the real truth. They want to, I found out that, uh, you know, they, uh, they're not going to go down. The ones that are in the religious community are all, uh, these free will people. So, and so they're not going to, they're going to steer it away from the, the sovereign grace of God. And, and, uh, these type of people are taking the lead in it and they got plenty of money to go everywhere and, and fly all over the world. And of course they bring a lot of truth, but, uh, they, they want them to, uh, co-opt or what's the word, steer it in the direction that they want it. But it's all futile because God is in control. He's on his throne <clears throat> and, uh, Everything's going to come out the way he wants it to. Because he's Lord and King. Jesus Christ is Lord and King. But anyway, uh, I'm a, i am got to get me some coffee. And uh, peace and love from this old boy down here in Alabama. <laughs>